Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's me. I'm John. My guest uh, today is Elijah St. James. He's off. He had to go do something. He didn't really tell me. He just kind of like wandered off. And ladies he started... and gentlemen, ladies, I'm sorry I'm late, everybody. Welcome to the St. James Sanctuary with yours truly, me, Elijah St. James. My guest today, Jim Milton, John, J- Jake, Jake Shackle. My guest here today is in the presence of greatness. And I got a couple questions for him. Where are your pants? My first question what? is, why are you wearing pants? This is my house. That's more of a reason. Why are you wearing pants in your own home? There's Weirdo, a, ladies guest, and gentlemen. A guest Weirdo. Here. My first real question is, it's kind of a trick question. I'm obviously a better looker than um, Tyler Reed in the ring, right? You know, I got a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, right? Yeah? Yes, you can answer it. It's okay. I already know the answer, and so does everybody out there. It's um, me. Absolutely. All right, so now, Jake, let me ask you a couple questions. My name's questions. John. Your name is what? John. My name's John. All right, Jacob. Which moment of Elijah St. James blessing the universe with his almighty presence is your favorite out of x um, ECPW, NTW, any of the shows I've been on? Which is your favorite moment? Um, probably when... He, <laughs> That's a wait, great what you, this one! Is my, this That's is my a, show! Wait. This is my show! What the hell are you doing? This is your show. Yeah, the Silly Goofy Podcast. Oh. Oh. Well, I, 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 I guess I'll go um, find my, my pants here in a second. <laughs> I, and, can't uh, <laughs> I can't keep going. I can't keep going. I went for as long as I could. Hey, <laughs> we, we totally didn't plan that. We did. We planned that. <laughs> I was at the dry cleaners folding people like their laundry. <laughs> hey, welcome. This is the actual intro now. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Elijah, that, I have Elijah St. James here. Um, thank you for that, <laughs> by the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. <laughs> we talked about that when I first started talking to him. I was like, I feel like it'd be really funny to like do like a like a bit like that in the beginning. I just thought it'd be funny. Get a guy just kicking the door with no pants yeah, on. Yeah, I wasn't. Yelling. At first, because at fir- I think at first you were just like, oh, should I like do it like do it in character or whatever? And I was like. Oh God! What would that be like? And then I think later on I was like, "You should do it in your like wrestling outfit." That's perfect. I know. I mean, kayfabe is <laughs> pretty much dead because of the internet right now, anyway. Yeah. So everybody knows that I don't just kick in the doors in my underwear <laughs> until I do. Until- <laughs> God, I'm not gonna be able to take you seriously now. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to use a mic stand, you can. By the way, you don't. If you don't want to hold it the whole time, you can. Just let me. Um, Dude, I'll put that sway together for you. I mean, you can if you want to. You can sway it around egotistically if you want. But I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm about to do my solo. <laughs> oh, All right, no, I'm just playing. Hold me now. <laughs> just start singing Creed. I've genuinely had Creed stuck in my head for a few days. Like, I've seen, like, memes and stuff about it. And I'm just like, I, you know, Creed is kind of good. Creed is kind of good. <laughs> Like they have, they have some bangers. I will say. If you put a mic in front of me and you give me an opportunity to sing anything, it's probably going to be some old asking Alexandria. And right. I'm yeah. Make a fool of myself, <laughs> which is you know what you would expect to happen when you give a pro wrestler a microphone and tell him sing on it. You said, you said sing what now. What are you talking you want me about? To yell at anybody or say how I'm the best? Oh, you can just do it lyrically. <laughs> oh, make sure that's like right up to your mouth, by the way, so he can pick you up good. You're gonna adjust that however you need. I'm just gonna leave. Does this work? Can I lean it? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. This is totally professional. <laughs> okay, I'm no. I'm not wearing any pants. Yeah, so. you're literally in my... My girlfriend's in the other room. This is what I wear. There's a work. very muscular man in with no <laughs> pants in the other room. I'm in the bedroom with him. I'm... <laughs> you're watching the right podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not insecure about my masculinity at all. My throat's been a little... Not insecure. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, but I was fine with it. I've been like, my throat's been super dry lately when I wake up. Like for whatever, for whatever reason, her and I both have been like. It's New York's weather being on so many drugs, that's what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Just <laughs> wants to switch from 50 to like negative 30 to like 50 <laughs> again. And my sinuses don't know what to do either, so yeah. it's fair. Yeah, we had to get a humidifier for our bedroom. I think I should look into that. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, okay. I'm going to actually try to be serious now. As serious, as serious as I can be in this whole thing. <clears throat> so, Elijah. No. <laughs> no, um, 
So when I asked you about this, what was going through your head when I was like, "Hey, you want to come on the podcast? Oh, you you do it. My... Do it in character." Honest opinion. You uh, want to do it in your outfit? Immediately, I was like, "No, oh, yeah, you want to do a podcast?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh God, I got to do it in character." All right, well, I could do that. Just you know, be more boisterous and and, and flamboyant and egotistical than I normally am. <laughs> Which... I mean, you're, you're killing it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> You said that before you got here, you said that you um, you came from the gym, yeah. which is, uh, you can tell, obviously. Like I said, muscular man. God damn. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, what's your workout routine like? Like, well, can you give me like a, because I'm trying to get so back into working all out. All throughout high hard. school, what I did is I watched a, a bunch of YouTubers on um, how, to, how to get in any sort of decent shape. So all of my, my workout advice I got from... The same people you can look up on YouTube. Nick Wright's one of them. There's a couple different people. Uh, C.T. Fletcher. Uh, he's not a very great teacher. He just yells at you and tells you, do more. <laughs> but it, it was effective for me as a young man. Mm-hmm. Um, but my what I've learned is that there's muscles that go together. So when I go, I do uh, chest and tries, back and buys. I do legs by themselves because I hate legs, but I got to <laughs> dedicate time to them. And then shoulders and abs on another day. Mm-hmm. So that's four days. And then, you know, throw something else in there. Maybe some forearms with a little yeah. bit of cardio work. Go crazy. But I like to try to keep the muscles that go together, together. Okay. That's I don't yeah, go I'm... in there and do legs and, and biceps. Because <laughs> they don't <laughs> they correlate don't really go to... yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like just, I barely scratch the surface of like what to do when I go to the gym. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. What I do when I go to the gym. So I'm always trying to like learn new stuff. My one, my one buddy, he's been on here well, before. My buddy Travis, he, I take him to Planet Fitness with me sometimes because I have the black card. Is that where you go? That's exactly where I go. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, every now and then he'll take me there, and he's shown me some like good like stuff to do. But it's just so easy for me to fall off of it and just not want to do it anymore. Well, it's like <laughs> so much easier for the human mind to to go into. Oh, it's easier for me to not. It's easier for me to literally sit home and do nothing. Everybody yeah. falls into that trap every once in a while. Like, yeah. you just get home from work. What's the first thing you want to do? Sit on your couch and do exactly, literally yeah. nothing. Yeah. I That's mean, what... I fall into that all the time. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, when you actually get out and do the things that you, you were going to do regardless, it, it, it makes you feel better. You're like, oh, oh I'm yeah. actually doing something. Yeah. But Every time I go to the gym afterwards, I feel fantastic afterwards. And I'm like, this is awesome. This is like, it's like a high kind of. And then you got to get to go back the next day and you're like, oh. What's your <laughs> what's your least favorite thing to what's your least favorite thing to work out My or like least, wor- least favorite thing to do least favorite wise. thing in the gym to do I'm gonna have to go with um some back exercises and I okay. like working my back. My back is one of my favorite things to work. There's just there's just the way that you do certain things like the bent over rows. I hate doing bent over rows. I don't know why. I don't. Okay. You won't probably catch me doing any of those. And if you do, it's going to be right in front of you in front of the mirror off the rack. <laughs> because I can. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm I'm kidding. I remember. <laughs> my uh, my least favorite thing is cardio. Cardio? I hate cardio. I know it's important, but like, fuck, I hate it. My buddy Travis, he's like, he's like, yeah, I do this stuff and this, already pretty intense. And then he's like, and then I do like an hour, like half an hour to an hour of cardio. I'm like, you're an insane person. Well, at least he doesn't Stop do it to it. start with. I know people that are like, yeah, I'm gonna start with my 45 minute run, then I'm gonna get the <laughs> pump, and I'm just like, well, when you're gonna what? When my, <laughs> when my girlfriend and I go sometimes, we'll like we'll go in the, like the one room to like stretch and kind of like warm up, get ready and everything. And then she does what she calls her hot girl walk. So she walks for a bit, and I just walk with her. Yeah, she just she just going. But um, All right. it's like a <laughs> 10, 15 minute thing. Just kind of like get our get the the body Walking moving. Is I different guess from like straight run for cardio. Oh fuck that! I hate that. Yeah, no. I have I have asthma. It's already hard enough to just walk and exist. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough for me to walk and exist too. Yeah. My asthma's fine. <clears throat> but okay, so yeah, you work out a lot, obviously, and that comes into wrestling. If you can't tell from the everything that we've already said and done, Elijah St. James is a professional wrestler. In are you in? You're in Excite, right? I work for Excite and many other promotions. That okay. is my home promotion. Okay, yeah, that's what love I thought. those boys. Love the promoters. Love the trainers that they've had there. Uh, rest in peace, Jeff Greeno, and um, mm-hmm. props to our current champion Pat Sawyer. He's a beast. He did a yeah, little bit of my Pat's, training as Pat well. Sawyer. I know a little Pat. bit. Uh, when when were you first introduced to wrestling? Oh, when I was a kid, just like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that. Sitting that in front of the out. TV, and you're like, "Wow, these superheroes are awesome!" <laughs> yeah. And in reality, it's just a hairy guy oiled up in some some skibby tights, throwing some other guy into a piece of metal. But <laughs> it looks pretty. It cool, looks cool. And it's a lot of fun. 
is that what like made it so special to you or like was there something that you like you saw and that just like this one thing captivated you or was it just everything as a whole when i was younger i like i had a lot of, a lot of problems with my own personal confidence self-image and just who the heck i was and trying <laughs> to figure out myself as a person um so i stole a lot of it from people who were acting on tv like the miz and things mm-hmm. like that so i was like all right where well, how do i be confident what does confidence look like that's obviously not a great role model for confidence it's yeah a great role either. model for ego <laughs> but uh, so i learned how to develop that through that yeah no that that makes sense there's definitely like i know that i also struggle with like my confidence and everything it's gotten much better thankfully but i know for a while it was just like i had no idea how to like just like even present confidently or present yourself yeah just like it. i didn't know how to like really like be a person exactly. essentially yeah exactly I but s- then i stole it from guys who were doing it better than me yeah <laughs> <laughs> I pretty I pretty much I pretty much did the same thing and I just like masked everything with humor mainly like self-deprecating humor just cuz that's what I knew but like I just masked a lot of my insecurities and stuff with humor and I was just like I found out that that helped I was like oh well if I'm like stupid and I make people laugh I'm not as nervous so I just stuck with that and it helped so now it actually helped me build some confidence by being stupid It definitely does it's Let's where a go. lot of, <laughs> a lot of my humor comes from is self-deprecation and hating yeah. myself Right <laughs> How old were you when you first started? When I first, first, started, first started wrestling? 22, I believe. Okay. 22. I'm 25 right now. Really? You've only been in it for three years. Yeah, I've only Damn. been wrestling for about three years. But um, I've been watching it since I was a kid, so that means I know everything about it. Yeah. Honestly, that's how it was with... <laughs> that's how it was with, like... Because my brother did wrestling for a little bit, too. And he... Like, him and I just grew up watching wrestling. He was obviously much more into it than I was. But... Like, him and I grew up watching wrestling. I remember... It was a really embarrassing story. <laughs> Those are always had, the best uh, ones. I had a... Uh, I don't think I've told many people this. Um, I had a... We had a Lita poster in our bedroom. Everybody did. It's because, okay. Because it's Lita, you know? I don't need to explain more. You don't. <laughs> um, you don't. It's fair. <laughs> but I had a Lita poster. I was... Okay, keep in mind. This is embarrassing. I was super, super young. And thankfully, nobody caught me. But Where's I, this story going? What were you doing with the Lita poster? I was practicing kissing on the Lita poster. Okay, that's a little bit better than my. Oh yeah, was. nothing, nothing weird. It's just me kissing a piece of paper with a woman's <laughs> face on it. It's not weird. <laughs> nothing no, wrong was, with that. It was it, like I did it, and I was like later on, I was like, why did I do that? That's fucking weird. But you know, whatever. I was I was a kid. That's a normal thought process for me after I do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was a week ago. Why do I lie? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, was, I, don't even, I don't even know how old it was, but I was super young. You just put I just the remember... poster right in that closet. And I see it peeking out right there. Actually, I have something funny in this closet. Yes. There's another muscular man. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we keep our merch on. Yeah. Which one's real? <laughs> His abs are better than mine. Dang it. That's one thing that I want really bad. Hold on, let's just find it. That's one thing that I want really bad, like... When it comes to working out, that's one thing, like one end goal that I want is to have abs. Well, that's what I was going to ask you when you're like, I'm going to work out. And you just told me a couple things. I was like, well, what is your goal when you're getting in there? Are you just trying to lose weight? Or are you I'm... trying to get shredded like lettuce? Or are you trying <laughs> to get bigger than Sam Sulik? Like, what's the goal? So for me, I know a big thing, and this kind of goes back into my like, uh, my confidence and like self-image issues and whatnot. I mainly just, I want to lose this. I want to lose my gut. Ideally, I'd love to have abs because I'd feel cool and I'd feel good. But so would I. Mainly, <laughs> primarily, I just want to like <laughs> I want to lose this, so I'm not so embarrassed to take my shirt off. But that's that's the big one. Like obviously, I want to get I want to get more like muscular and whatnot. But that's the big one, which I feel like for me is really hard because I have such a hard time like cutting it. And this might not even be good, but like it, I have a, such a hard time cutting out sugars, and like I'm trying to not eat as much bread because I know that that. I've heard that that might not be great if you're trying to lose, like, stomach fat or whatever. I mean, I've, I got the lucky draw with it when it comes to metabolism. I've always had a very high metabolism. But for me to actually, like, mold my body and to do anything with it through a diet has been extremely difficult mm. because it just takes everything and burns it immediately for energy. Yeah. Um, but if, if you're trying to lose weight, I hate to say it, diet is one of the main things that's going to do it. Like, cardiovascular endurance doesn't 
directly correlate with mm-hmm. weight loss. Yeah. It's carb intake with how much you burn in a day. So it's what yeah. you do. So like I'm, what I'm trying to say is just get in there and walk on the treadmill like you do. I know. That's, it's, that's, that's top the, of the line for it. I know. You hate I know it. That's the thing is but I'm like, I know that cardio would help, but like, the fuck, general motion cardio. of you being in the gym and doing physical activity is, yeah, is would also be burning helpful. more, more carbs and going that gun then goes out, you know, and that's, mm-hmm. that's what it's really all about. But I've never been a dietitian. Um, yeah. I've always been one that supports um, if it tastes good, eat it and eat a lot of it, as much <laughs> of it as you physically can until you're sick and then go take a nap. Yeah, that's, so what, that's what I want to do. Most like, days I like I to say this about myself. I am in great shape. I am in awful health. Most people treat their body like a temple. I treat mine like an amusement park. <laughs> All right. There's okay. people they are like, these rides look awesome. And they get on there and there's bolts going like, ding, 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 ding. like you know, what? <laughs> yeah, um, that's that's so I'm not. It's a hell of a ride, it. though, right? <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a ride. <laughs> no, like e- even like so. Thankfully, where I live right now, I'm like a five minute drive, seven minute bike ride to where to where I work. I'm so them calories. Yeah, I used to like when it's nice out because it's cold right now. But like when it's yeah, it's when good. it's nice out, I bike back and forth to work and back home, and. I don't know if I, I'm sure I've lost like a few pounds or whatever, or like burned some fat or whatever, Guaranteed but like lost all the water weight. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. But like, I, I love doing that. But like at the end of the day, I'm just like, I'm tired and lazy. It's hot. <laughs> Evie, can you come pick me up please? So that's the struggle that I run into all the time. Yeah. Is with maintaining the physique. He's like, all right, well, I still look good. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to perform well. Yeah, yeah. So I got to get in there and, and you know, because it'll show, it'll show in the, it'll show in the tapings, it'll show in the matches, it'll show my cardio in there. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, what really keeps me motivated these days to really stick to my regiments and everything. Everybody's like, "Oh, you're, you go in the gym and you go crazy, don't you?" I'm like, I mean, yeah, when I <laughs> when I go to the gym. Yeah. Do you not, do you not do you not go that often? <laughs> I mean, I gotta motivate myself. That's true. Yeah. Like I'm saying, everybody looks at me like, "Oh, this this guy's like in there at 3 a.m. pumping iron and, and like eating bowls and nails," <laughs> and I'm like. Dude, what? <laughs> no, as an actual person. No, I go like three, four times a week. Okay, yeah. I guess I get my push pull. Mm-hmm. Those are two days. My legs and then my the, my accessories. And then I'll do cardio one day or like some active recovery. Like swimming's always good. Obviously yeah. Not right now. It's freezing outside. Yeah, it's like 10 degrees out. But like normally, I, if I if I could, if I had a, if a choice, like you said, I'd rather sit home. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I could just get in good shape and then stay that way and do nothing. Unfortunately, I'd I've tried. To. You know, a lazy <laughs> man has tried every way to get in shape without mm-hmm. actually having to get in shape. And it doesn't. It doesn't work. Yeah. You have to just go there and yeah. do that. I'm really trying to like push myself because I have my like I mentioned before my friend Travis he works out like a madman. Um, he's really you know like he's taught me a lot and like he's helped me with like workout routines and stuff like that. And um, I have the black card for Planet Fitness, so I can bring a person with me. So I told him I was like, "Hey, we should start going to the gym like together again because we were for a little while and then, and then you just, fell off. Yeah, fell off happen. and you know it life happens. happens, whatever. But um, I was like. I feel like it's better because I know that her and I have done it before, but I know it's better for me. I think if I go with before, well, with somebody, oh. with somebody, definitely because if I'm by myself, I get way too, uh, I get way too anxious about it because I worry that I look like an idiot or I don't know what I'm, or I look like I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, which never have a fear of that. I, I hate which, that. The gym I mean, should be granted, a place where you're supposed to learn. Like, oh how yeah, do, absolutely. How do you get better at it? You go no. in there and figure it out, and, and I that's hate that, like. Everybody thinks that there's there's some big guy in a corner looking at you because nine times out of ten there is some fucking jackass over there <laughs> yeah. staring at you like look at this guy doesn't know what he's doing why don't you go over there and show him how to do it a little better yeah help him out no definitely Crazy I know story, that is actually, one how thing how that I, I found to... um, wrestling training not to cut you off no, but how ahead. I found wrestling training around this area is I was in the gym and I was doing lap pull downs okay and uh, this guy's like hey would you like to learn a better way to do that and I was like sure I'm always open nice. for advice yeah because uh, I was doing a little wonky and he showed me a better way and he's like yeah, I've been doing a long time I asked him what he's training for and whatnot and he said I'm a pro wrestler and I I was like, oh, well, you're a pro wrestler. And like, that was Tyler Reed. No, I'm kidding. It was Tyler Reed. No, it wasn't Tyler Reed. <laughs> Who was that? It was Sean Carr's cousin. Oh, I thought you were going to say Sean Carr. I was like, oh, that's funny. No, <laughs> Sean Carr's cousin is Tyler Reed. No, I know. <laughs> I'm in a band. It was, it was, it was a wrestler. It was, um, it was Rotmare. It was Chad Jackson. Oh, okay. He was in the gym, and he nice. told me, he's like, yeah, I've been doing wrestling around here for a long time. I'm like, you can do it? He's like, he's like yeah, you just got to get into training. So that's that's when I that's when I got into it is because I was in the gym and I, I wasn't fully aware of what I was doing and I asked well I got offered some help and I accepted it openly. Nice. That's what I hate is that people don't feel comfortable that they can go to the gym and just try yeah. new things and just try to get themselves better. 
like I know that that shouldn't be something that I need to worry about. It's just hard to get past that for me, anyways. Like it's it's hard to get past well, that because I'm just self conscious about everything yeah. I do, essentially. So especially something like that that I'm that's still like very foreign to me that I'm still not 100 percent like comfortable. It means everything doing. you think you're doing is wrong. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm am like, I walking in the gym correctly? <laughs> Sir, it's walking. I'm like, am I doing it right? <laughs> I know how that goes. Which foot goes first? <laughs> no. But yeah, like I'm trying to really stick to going in the morning before I go to work because there's nobody there, which... Well, if it's Planet Fitness, if it's too early or too late, you're going to get the old guy that walks around the locker room with his nuts out and just never puts his pants on. I mean, never there, puts his There pants was on. one time... Like, it's fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> We're all, like, you're, you're half naked right now. It's fine. We're all dudes. It's yeah, cool. I don't have my... No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend's in the other room. Please don't. <laughs> Um, I'm not an old man at Planet Fitness, so I think we're gonna be safe for this round. Yeah, <laughs> but no, like I, I did see, for now. like he wasn't like walking around with his nuts out. <laughs> he wasn't walking <laughs> around like that, but like, just like I saw someone getting out of the shower, and like, you know, obviously he was getting out of the shower, so he was naked, and like it shocked me for a second because for whatever reason I wasn't expecting it. But then I was like, oh, oh yeah, naked person. Holy yeah, shit. I was just like, oh, there's a naked person. No, we're at the gym. Who gives a shit? And then I just went on with my with my day. And then I went on to suffer. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you went on with your day, so I just assumed that you went on to suffer like the rest of us. Yeah, it's just every, for, <laughs> just bracing the, the day ex- existential weight of life. In oh, general. always. But no, the old people uh, at like when it's too early, they'll just sit there. I had a conversation with them. It's not like yeah. I mind too much. I'm around naked men 99 percent of yeah. the time, or well, not fully naked, but yeah. close enough. <laughs> and I get real close and personal with them most of the time. So yeah. I'm not one to really. Be all, ooh, I don't know. But no, it's just the fact that they just, they, it's extended periods of time, they'll just walk around. Like, I'm like, dude, it doesn't take you that long to get dressed. You just yeah. got out of the shower, you're toweling off. We've had a 30 minute conversation <laughs> at this point. Like, you've stopped me from leaving. Yeah. Because we're talking about things. He's like, hey, dude, hold on. Let me talk yeah, to you. Yeah, just like that. Like, hey, well, come here. I want to tell you about this. He's unfolding. How long you been wrestling? Unfolding his underwear, refolding them again in his lap. <laughs> yeah, you know. And I'm just like, eh, hey, I get it. Either put your pants on or I have to go. One of the two. I don't even have to rush. I just either or, please, for my sake, you know. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to go. I don't mind this conversation, but I gotta go. <clears throat> but okay, so yeah, working out. It's good, but it's hard. It's it's good, but it's hard. But yeah. I found I've fallen into a love with it, especially like the body chemistry of it, and like that's why I do push pulls and like looking into mm-hmm. how the muscles contract, eccentric and concentric. I like I liked that. That's how I failed science. Well, because they were like, all right, we're going over all this. And I'm like, this is how your muscles work with the body. And I was like, ooh, I'm ooh. interested in that. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, Elric, now we're talking about this. And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't care, care at I all. Don't care. Yeah, I, I don't care. When I was younger, I had like, it was weird. For whatever reason, my, totally off topic, but for whatever reason, my school, I think it was that they were like in the process of like building like a new part of the school or whatever. So like classrooms were kind of like mixed. Like okay. one teacher would teach like multiple things. And I remember being like super pumped because we were learning about science and stuff. And I was like, this is sick. This is, this is really interesting. And then we were in that same classroom with the same teacher. Next period, we learned about math. And it was the most boring fucking thing. I was, was like, it, man, this Was sucks. it how they taught her or was it the subjects? Um, both. Because like, I, I, I I, I, I'm so bad at I, – I took a test when I was younger. You say you're I bad have, at math, dude. No, I, I, am tec- I am technically learning disabled in math. I took Same. a test. I, really? Yeah, okay. I was in a couple. I, I don't know why I just raised my. I know. Hand. I thought you were going for a high five. I was Same. like, all right, here I am. <laughs> that was that was weak. Come here. There, there we, we go. go. But yeah, no, I was in a the class for math and yeah, the one yeah. Now off to the left of the normal classrooms. Yeah, it's like the, like the more <laughs> smaller, like, so I can yes, I can learn yeah. better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's what I still had to ended do up for... didn't doing too well in math, especially yeah. when they started throwing letters at me. I was like, I love English. What is this? <laughs> uh, like. For whatever reason, ever since I like was in school, ever since I like graduated and everything, every time there's like a simple math, anything, I immediately start to panic and I'm just like, oh god, what is this? I'm gonna look like I'm gonna look like an idiot. Numbers get all jumbled in your head. Yeah, there was there hate was it. <laughs> there was one time for whatever reason. It's when it's when Lilac Knight, um, Tyler and I's old band. If you didn't know, um, when our old band was, we were playing a show somewhere and like we were getting gas, and for whatever reason. Tyler was like, John, what's the percentage of that gas? And I was like, I don't fucking know. And he was like, no, come on. What is it? And I was like, genuinely started genuinely, to get nervous. I, I was like, no, don't ask me these questions. Yeah, I genuinely got nervous. I was like, dude, I don't know. I 
I can't even begin to think of how to do that. It was just so overwhelming. <laughs> because for it's whatever right around reason. the spot. It's not something yeah. you're even a little bit comfortable with. Yeah, exactly. Why has there never been like a like a math teacher gimmick? There was a tax guy gimmick in wrestling. There's never really? been a math teacher like finishing moves the solve for X or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just something comes ridiculous. out with a big calculator, just knocks somebody. Yeah, out. Like, no, he gets like the big like clunky calculator. Everybody that they used hates to use. the math teacher. Has yeah. there been one? Yo, smoke. Has there ever been like a gimmick of a, of a math teacher in, in wrestling that you remember from back in the day? CPA, man. I mean, CPA. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, accountant. Accountant is definitely that's okay. Kind, so that's, that's in does the count. wheelhouse, that I guess. Count, yeah. But that's like the IRS. That's like uh, Mike Rotunda kind of deal. There's a person like, off screen, by the way, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell. I'm, no, I'm talking to the voices in my head, ladies and gentlemen. We can hear them, too. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Which said voice that. said that? I know no, there was, was uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> there was one uh, thing that I saw. There was okay, two videos just popped into my head that I've seen. One of them was, uh, it was a girl that was like an aerobics teacher kind of gimmick. Okay. And she, there's like the thing that you can like step on, step off, step on. Yeah, step off. it's like the old she, 80s, like workout yeah, exactly, yeah, old the, like, 80s workout video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, old 80s workout video. Yeah, she had on that whole outfit and everything. She was, <laughs> she was wrestling somebody, and like the person was down, and she put the, th- or no, she either put it on them or she was just doing it, where she was like stepping on them and stepping off, stepping one, on, stepping two, off. One, yeah. Two, yeah. <laughs> and she was just like, yes. it was so good. And then <laughs> another one that I saw recently was, um, oh, what is it? It was. I don't know like what promotion it was or anything. It was just a video I saw scrolling Instagram. But it was three Spider-Men in the ring. You can guess where this is going. One of them had a chair. The ref was like, of course. Yeah. The ref, <laughs> of course, like someone blew at, like wind blew towards me. Oh, And, you know, he did the whole thing of like the ref, the stereotypical <laughs> yeah. ref getting just like hurt for X amount of time. And then like one Spider-Man hit the chair, hit a chair on the ground. And then he fell, one Toss fell, the other one the fell. Other. Yeah, they all just fell. And then the like the ref turned around and he was like, Hey, who brought that chair in here? And then they all got up and did the point. Yes. Which of as soon as I saw oh. it, I was like, I know where this is going. But the I still meme. I still loved it either way. But that's actually kind of a perfect segue into my uh, my next question. All right. I was gonna ask you <clears throat> so like you were just talking about like gimmicks and, and everything. Yes. What is like the uh, what's like the thought process? For you, anyways, like, what's like? Do you have a like? What was your thought process making your character? I guess. Well, for character development is, is still in the works for me right now. Okay. Because of depending on what company I go to, mm-hmm. either they have me doing different things with different people. I'm all over the place at the moment, but m- my gimmick is is more or less. <clears throat> I wouldn't even because I only cut it in like certain promos. Not even really the way I move. The way I move is more like a like an arrogant, cocky young upstart, and that's in decent shape. Like I okay. got the most generic thing going on. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But when I when I cut promos, I do sort of like a since the the Saint James name, like an ironic saint. Like all right, I'm doing the righteous thing here. I'm blessing everybody with the light and raining it down. Oh, okay, okay, you know I something like that. But really, like true gimmicks will come off of a whim when you're chilling with your friends, and they'll mm-hmm. say something ridiculous, and like yeah, I'm gonna try that, and then something will stick. Yeah, I haven't found my my like exact niche for that yet. I'm just trying to get really really well rounded in the ring and really mm-hmm. really well rounded on the mic. Yeah, and you know get the whole thing together. So like I'm I'm gonna say right now my my gimmick's under underdeveloped really okay. I'm just a just a traditional pro wrestler he's jacked he's got a beard and he's got trunks on <laughs> yeah I was gonna say like do you have like <clears throat> was there like a backstory to it or was it more of like a just like I want to wrestle kind of thing for well your, when for I started kid. when I started they were like oh you got the look you got the look and I was like what look and they're like a prison escapee and I was like <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> Okay, all right, that's that's cool. Yeah. So originally, I went for a little like more of an, an unstable character, mm-hmm. and then I was like, all right, that's that's everybody does unstable. Let's yeah. like gimmick it up with something. And I was like, I don't even know where the hell I got this name from. I got the name from my brother who passed away, Elijah. Don't know where I picked up Saint James from. Okay. And I guess it's from my mother dragging me to Catholic churches when I was young. I was like, Saint something sounds cool. That's that checks out. <laughs> And I asked all the residents, like, no, no, I don't think anybody else has that name. So nice. that was the name. So as I, as like I said, character development goes over time. Yeah. So within the second year, I was like, all right, let me add like a little bit of this this fragrance within promos and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I still haven't gotten like any of the costume or the gimmick yet with it, but okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate that, and make it a little bit better. But I don't want to get stuck with one thing, you know? What yeah, I mean? no, that's I don't fair. Get stuck with one thing. Yeah. And you know, 
Did you yeah. listen to Green Day or anything? Of course, when you were I listened to Green Day. Do you think the St. James came from St. Jimmy? Because that kind of is what I thought. I was like, oh, St. James, like James, another name for Jimmy. It could kind of be like that, you know. <laughs> it very maybe well. like subconsciously. I don't know. You know. I'm I'm pretty sure it was subconsciously. Really nice. <laughs> you know, I'm being for real because like before I started wrestling, my sister had the old um, Green Day album, the one with the heart on it. It's like what was the heart on the front that looks like a grenade? I believe. Oh, American Idiot. Yeah. Yeah, American Idiot album. See, I'm mm-hmm. not like super well versed, but not I do know it. And she had it, and I only had a CD player because like my stereo just broke. So I was like, all right, I got an old CD player. I don't have any CDs because, you know, I'm 25. There's some CDs aren't really real anymore. Yeah, it sucks. But <laughs> I wasn't 25 at the time, but 25 yeah. at the time. But mm-hmm. I had a CD player. Yeah. And I seen that she had a CD, so I stole her CD and I told her I'd give it back to her. I still have it. I didn't give it back to her. I was just You'll get it. Don't back. worry. <laughs> Trinity, I promise you're gonna get your Green Day CD back <laughs> at some point. Eventually. <laughs> just not anytime soon. But yeah, no, and so I was listening to that like on repeat. Mm-hmm. I also did that with um, one of the Tyler CDs. He gave it to me oh, nice. at a show, and I threw it in the threw it in the thing, and I just never took it out. Nice. <laughs> I just never bothered to change. Like, oh, these are great. I'm gonna just keep this running. Mm, keep it playing. <laughs> that actually, that's not even trying to be funny. That goes perfectly into my next I'm question. I'm segueing very you're, well today. That's your character. You're just like I'm really good I'm at segues. Segway, man. <laughs> I'm really good at segues. If I could pull up on a segue and coming out into the ring. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just be like. I would. Uh, what was it like the American badass undertaker where he came out on a motorcycle? <laughs> it's like that's you, but it's just like yeah. cor- it's just like corporate on a segway. <laughs> You've done it now. <laughs> just pushes up glasses. So for we're talking about you mentioned Tyler, Second Suitor and everything. Um for those who don't know, um Second Suitor put out a video for our song Granite Angels. Elijah's in it. No, who's, no, who's no. Elijah's idea? not in it. There is my my uh my brother who I hate, Elric is in it. <laughs> All right, that guy's in it. Yeah, El- I'm sorry, Elric. Uh, he's in it. <laughs> Weekly. Um, no, he's he's in the video. And whose idea was it for you and Frank to start wrestling in that? Absolutely nobody's. I think um, I think I just grabbed him. and I was like, you know, just take a DDT or something. <laughs> and he did. And then I was like, yo, suplex, he suplex me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it was like, so it popped in my head. Like maybe we should just like get in it because like normally at punk shows, I got the little push pit. Yeah, like pushing, nobody's trying to get whatever. all crazy. It was like, all right, let's not get crazy. Just suplex me on this hard floor. So I don't know where <laughs> where my yeah. thought process was with that, or where either of ours was. But it looked really good for the video. It looked like it hurt I, like hell. <laughs> it was fine. I knew Tyler was recording too for the video. I was like, well, it's gonna be a video. There's yeah. not many. But there's a couple of people like dancing. But mm-hmm. we don't. We didn't even have the big push pit. Like you know. Yeah. It was more so, so just like, like people like bouncing and like bobbing yeah. their heads and everything. So I was like, which is cool. Let's do a little something crazy. The suplex. Let's it, do physical harm to each other. It probably hurt Frank. Not at a, a hardcore bit. show. I took the scoop slam, right? Yeah. Yeah. I so think so. The no, bumps I think are you fine. The bumps are. Did fine. you? I think I almost just threw up my mouth. Did you, <laughs> um, DDT Frank? Yes. I think okay. So. Okay. That. that yeah. That I checks did. Out. Yeah. yeah. That was the one that hurt because I hit my elbow. Um. Because <laughs> you, you didn't you're... bring your pads. No, I was. <laughs> I was just there for a concert. I know. <laughs> Maybe a couple drinks, but no, I was. I was in there suplexing people all over. You get in there, you're just like, wrestling follows me everywhere I everywhere go. I, I can't go. escape it. <laughs> you don't choose the wrestling life. The wrestling life chooses you. <laughs> so when it comes to wrestling, would you consider yourself more of a heel or a face? And can you, after you would say what you are, what you think you are, can you explain what that is? Definitely, I would see myself as more of a heel. And okay. for those who don't know, heel is the bad guy and the face would be the good guy. That's like... Baby face or whatever, right? Baby is, it, is it just is face or is baby face baby something face different? Baby face is what they call it. We just okay. abbreviated face to make it easier for everybody when we're talking quick. But um, I'd be more of a heel because I mean, just look at me. Do I look like Do I look like the kind of guy that's helping an old lady across the street with her purse? Am I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I would, but I don't do look I like look it. Do I look like that? No, I have a giant spider tattooed on my neck. I'm in relatively <laughs> decent shape. Like normally, people are like, he's selling drugs. <laughs> Or I mean something along those lines. I mean, or, honestly, people thought that about me. And look, yeah, look at just, me. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it just goes with the, like the territory. I don't know. I, I I think I just look like a prisoner, or like some sort of like I don't know. Because that's what Johnny when when I went to X Site Wrestling in the beginning, Johnny looked at me and he was like, "Oh, you're gonna be my Chris Benoit," and I was like, 
with or without the murdering of the family. Yeah, and he was please. like, either or, <laughs> bud. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go without. I'm yeah. going to go without. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to play the safe bet and We're say We're going to go away from that route, but I will definitely put people in the cross face. Right, yeah. <laughs> you have, do, you have like a finish, do you have like a finisher or anything? I or do. I have oh. two. Okay. I have this uh, running corner knee strike uh, that I call the Devil's Agenda. Nice. Also That's very cool ironically name. to my name. <laughs> and um, then I have uh, my standing finisher because it's, it's always good to have two because you never know what position you're going to be in. It's always good to be like, all right, if someone's down, I can hit them here. Mm-hmm. If someone's up, I can get them with this. I got the, uh, the mic check. Please. <laughs> it's like a reverse STO. You put their arm over here, link the leg, slam their face back onto the mat. Ooh, okay. Why don't you sh- do it on me real quick? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> sure. No. <laughs> Did I? Oh, I didn't tell you about this. All right. Long story short, um, I broke my foot because a friend of mine. It, what's the name of the move? Or like, say someone like, I don't know if this is Professionals even, like, only. Don't try this at home. Yeah, don't. That's don't, disclaimer don't do this. in the front of every wrestling thing ever, yeah. John. <laughs> well, so I didn't <laughs> want okay. this I never to happen. Either. I didn't want this to happen. Is there, a th- is there a name for the, like, you grab someone like here and then. In their armpit and like put them behind you and hang like hold them that way like they're sideways like a torture rack kind of okay yeah that sounds I'm right i'm thinking of torture rack kind of well so essentially a friend of mine did that to me and he was like grab me like that and like spun around and like he would like slam me on the like the bed we were in because we were staying at a hotel and he did that to me like twice and then went in the middle of the room spun like three times yes. and went to just <laughs> go back yeah. And just I like put my my hands and feet out because I didn't want it to. I was like, this is gonna suck. So I put my hands and feet out. My foot landed, and it felt like obviously this isn't possible, but like my foot landed and it felt like it stayed there, and my entire body went sideways, and I just oh. broke two bones in my foot. Oh, it was rough. You still walk though, right? Oh yeah, it was it was years right, ago. Still yeah, good. It was still ago. good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, that's um. One thing I learned is don't try to catch yourself with your hands or your legs because okay. that's when you get injured the most. Like if you're falling backwards and you throw your arms out, like nine they could. times out of ten, you're going to jam it this way or bang Oof, both yeah. your elbows. You know what I mean? This is the best way to like catch yourself to kind of just like tuck and roll kind of thing? Or I mean, there's not there's not a great way to yeah, yeah. impact on the thing. Um, don't, don't hit your head. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. tuck your chin, don't hit your head, and then um, it's going to hurt a little bit. It's yeah, going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. You're just like, does everything that you do hurt? I'm like, yeah, actually, tremendously. <laughs> tremendously. I know. There's been a lot of times I've talked to people, like, recently, actually. Because, like, I'll tell people at work about, like, like, oh, my friend does wrestling. Or, like, I'm going to wrestling. Oh, yeah, I'm going to see WWE in at the arena. And in the G. first thing, I'm like, oh, that's fake. Yeah, literally. They're just like, <laughs> is that real? Uh, they're, like, they're like, that's the fake one, right? And I was just like. Come down was- to Excite uh, Wrestling Training School in Horseheads <laughs> and take a couple bumps from anybody there. Not even from anybody. Just take a couple bumps and um, see how your back feels. Yeah, liter- literally. Like, I've, <laughs> I've talked to people before. They're like, that's one that's fake, right? And it, No, it's because oh, I was talking fake. to, I was talking about watching UFC. I don't know if you watch you'll see it all but yeah of course nice. i do nice my friends and i my buddy travis he'll come over and we'll just like watch the pay-per-view here so did a little muay thai over. back in my day when oh, i was what? younger got beat up by a little bunch of tiny little Thai guys <laughs> they hit harder than nobody's business i'll tell <laughs> you what and they're quicker than a hiccup <laughs> but you know I, I i do like mma i've been watching mm-hmm. Anything with Sean Strickland in it, just because I'm yeah. almost 100% positive everything that man's doing is a heel gimmick, and he's getting, he's working you all, and you were all right on for it. <laughs> you were all right on for it. Yeah. Yeah, whenever <laughs> we have another pay-per-view, you're welcome to come over and watch it. Yes! Um, but yeah, so I was telling somebody about UFC. I was like, oh yeah, I'm having friends over watching UFC, and they were like, is that the one that's fake or not? And that's when I was just like... Wrestling is actually real. Like, it's scripted, sure. But, like, they still hurt themselves. So, like, I had to... Obviously, I didn't say it as dorky. I mean, the time but... away on the road, away from your families, if yeah. you have one of those, is real. The, yeah. the weekends that you have to sacrifice from going fishing to actually just traveling, like, three hours this way and sitting yeah. in a cold locker room and getting on the stage and, and the hitting and the impacts and constantly over time on your body, it's it's very real. It's a lot, yeah. It's very real. We're doing yeah. it for everybody's entertainment. Yeah. 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 So there's it's scripted aspects, but the, the damage we take is, it sucks, man. Yeah. It really does. Like, everybody's like, oh, that, that ring's got springs under it, right? I'm like, get no. under there. Yeah. Go find me some springs and some plywood and some metal. I know, because they make us, like, put it together. Yeah, yeah. It apart oh, yeah, I've had, I've, had to, I've had to help put a ring together once or, tw- like, a I little know, bit. We with appreciate my... it. Everybody that does ring crew, <laughs> yeah. we hello appreciate it, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. It was when my brother was wrestling. I went with him, and uh, 
I actually took a, I actually like kind of like got in the ring a little bit with him because he was at training, and okay. I just like went up there to like hang out or whatever. Did you and, take a bump? Oh, I took a, bu- I took a bunch. Right. I like, I like kind of had a match with him. I didn't know what I was doing. You're but just falling all over the place. Yeah, he was. Well, yeah, he was just like, okay, we're gonna do this. Like, do this spot. I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> I tried my best and I did okay. I think it was um, oh fuck, what's his? I'm drawing a blank on his name. He. <sighs> Is it Keith Zimmer? Keith Zimmer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. when it's when Keith he Zimmer. was. He's a great promoter. Yeah, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, he was up. It, I feel kind of bad, Billy. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but for whatever reason, or not for whatever reason, um, I was up there and like I was just kind of like doing whatever with with my brother. His name is Billy, and I was in the ring with him doing whatever, and Keith said that I was doing good, and. I, he was he was like yeah he's kind of like a, I don't remember if he said a natural but he said something Ooh, and my, my, I don't know if he said that I'm, I might be remembering that wrong I'm not trying to sound cocky I Once apologize again, if I do I'm gonna plug the uh, Excite Training School in <laughs> Horseheads New York there you go get some get some wrestling training some wrestling <laughs> but my brother got like a little like annoyed he was just like I've been training for fucking years <laughs> and you just come in I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> but he, he was fine <clears throat> that happens sometimes like yeah. there's, there's people who are just naturally more talented at things like that like and I'm not saying I'm more talented at wrestling than he is nah, nah, you by, heard not here by first, a long uh, shot <laughs> John is more talented than his brother at wrestling <laughs> no, and not, always not has by been and always shot. will be he said he <laughs> wants the smoke anytime you do ladder match what's uh what's the kind of match that you would never do Oh, I don't think there's there's no match that I would really? ever do. Yeah, have you ever I, gone I'm, through a table? Oh, easy. I would really? love to go through a table. No, have you gone through? No, I haven't oh. yet. I mean, I wouldn't love to go through a table. No one wants to get put <laughs> You wake up in the morning and you're like, I hope I go through a table today. No, but I'm like... It, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. I don't know if I'm like like low-key a masochist of some kind, but I don't really mind. If everybody's like, hey, you want to go flying off that thing? I'm like, you know, that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know why, why not? You could get you know, severely injured. I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> it's like you could get severely <laughs> injured. You're like, I also could not get severely injured. I could You die. ever think of that? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever done the... Uh, Thumbtacks, or have you ever? Yes, have I you? did do thumbtacks. Okay, how bad was that? I was Took talking to somebody about that. Spine today. Buster from Big Joey P. Um, it was in a three-on-three match. I was with uh, Axel Lennox and LDC. There's Joey P, Big Papa Chill, and um, Ricky Ricky Price. Okay. I love Ricky Price. But anyway, yeah, he he spine buster to me. He's big jack, jack. I mean, jack, jack. Like just. He spine brushed me on the thumbtacks, and what can I relate the pain to? Like immediately was it, you was feel it, it. Yeah. Oh, feel yeah. Feel going. You're like, oh, a bunch of little, little, little pointy little things back. in my back. Oh. Was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? No, no. Really? I've learned that about pain. I've learned that about pain in general. It's never as bad if you assume this is what it's going to feel like. It never feels that bad. Okay. When it comes to pain, like you're like, all right, if I'm gonna fall from this height and I'm gonna land on my back and neck, and then it happens, you're like, okay, I, when I imagined it, I feel like it would hurt way worse. I'd be like seething yeah. and rocking. Most of the time, you're just like, oh, oh no, it definitely hurt. But no, the after effects, like a couple days later, that's still picking thumbtacks out of your ass. They, yeah, I was <laughs> picking them out of my ass, picking them out of my elbows. Oh man, all they were stuck in my shoes for weeks. <laughs> shoes that I wear for wrestling. But no, the after effects is when it hurt like the next couple of days. I couldn't like lay down in my bed to play video Ooh, games. Oh, yeah. Anything. Like it was just like, ow. Oh, okay. That, that makes initially, sense. your adrenaline's going. So a lot of times, you don't feel a lot of the things until shortly after the match or the next day. Mm-hmm. But what I can attribute to feeling like is like, I don't know if anybody's had this. When you go to the doctors when you're young and you have the little allergy tests where they poke your back a bunch yep. mm-hmm. and it's supposed to swell up, you have allergies to that thing. That's what it felt like. Okay. That's what it felt not like the impact, but that's what it felt like, like of swollenness. Like my back was just all like puffy, little bumps. And, like, there's and little whatnot. bumps all over it. Yeah. Uh, okay. But it wasn't like the greatest deal of pain that I've been in in pro wrestling yet. What is the greatest deal worst, of pain I've been worst in? Worst in greatest pain, worst injury that you've gotten with wrestling. Um, your neck is your neck hurts all the fucking time man <laughs> all the time like i was like all right for manual labor my back always hurts it should be fine like that's not the part that hurts you're like you know you slammed on your back no up here neck and traps dude yeah. is like always stiff always sore it probably and, also doesn't help when you're selling because like i know like what i've seen and 
like a lot of times when people sell, they like they like whip their head back to like sell the impact more and everything. So that probably doesn't help either. Just like whipping your neck so much. Can't give all the secrets away, but we don't whip <laughs> our necks as much as you okay. think. We're good at making it look good. Okay. Um, can't go spilling all the beans, <laughs> but yeah, like I said, like there's no good way to fall, but when you fall, protect your neck. Yeah. So that for the sense. initial the slam, that should probably right. You know. Yeah, I remember not trying to yeah. have whiplash. I've done yeah. that before. <laughs> yeah, but the like, worst did you have like a worst, in, like a, a really bad injury to your neck or anything? Or no, but I've taken a bunch of moves incorrectly on my neck, or I've like I didn't take them correctly and landed like directly on my head and neck and oof, kind of folded myself up like an accordion, which happens in in training. It's all part of the process. Mm-hmm. But um, just don't do it off anything big off the top rope, and you should be all right. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But yeah, the neck is the thing. And I got to say, what would be the, the thing that hurts the most is probably is taking a big move from the, the higher up you go and taking a back bump, the more it's going to suck and the more it's going to jar you. So like a power bomb from someone that's actually seven foot tall. So when you see the big guy come in and choke slam the little guy, it, it definitely sucks yeah. a lot for the little guy <laughs> getting choke slammed or power bombed because you're like six feet up and you're going like all the way down. Yeah. And they just that anything just like that hurts. excessive force can slam. Um, down I've sprained you. both my ankles, like this Ooh. one and that one. Ooh, like from doing things, all from a move that I was initiating as well. So that's another thing that you got to be careful of. Get wrestling yeah. boots. Yeah, yeah, Kids, wrestling boots, wrestling and also boots. like because I've I think I've heard from like from a few different people about like and what I've seen on like other media like YouTube and movies, whatever is just like how to like be safe during a match like it's up to if somebody is like doing the move it's up to them to make sure that it's executed safely kind of thing to an extent obviously the other person needs to have a part in it as well but is that like is that giving a full uh, rough shot wrestling i'm not trying i'm not trying to get all i'm not trying to get all the like i said the the internet (laughs) killed kayfabe a long time ago sammy guevara's got a vlog so yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) but um Yeah, the, we we definitely have little methods and ways, and it's it's it falls on both people to do a move correctly. Like if you yeah. don't, if you don't hold up your own weight, I don't want to say all the words because it's like, I feel like it's bad to say like everything that we do for shoot. But like if you don't, I mean, you don't right have way, to. You don't you hold up the right way. Like yeah, you could fall the wrong direction mm-hmm. and hurt something you're not supposed to, and land on the wrong part. Yeah. Or if they don't put any effort into it, same thing. But accidents happen like that in wrestling all the time. Yeah. Like we're doing it the safest we can, but like. Not everybody out here is perfect. It's mm-hmm. Like especially me. Like when I first got in the business, like you got the look, kid. And I'm like, you, trust me, I'm <laughs> I'm as clumsy as they come, brother. Yeah, like I, I might look <laughs> good right now. I can fall from a standing position. Yeah. <laughs> I can just fall from standing straight up and down to prone. Like, with the, oh, the wind took me. <laughs> like I'm not a, a dexterous you should, individual. You should be a ref. No. <laughs> No, I do springboards with my lack of dexterity, which is <laughs> quite terrifying. Yeah, that seems it. Yeah, I've, I've talked to Tyler about it a little bit. Like, he's told me about, like, some, like, spots that he's done that, like, kind of... How do you feel about the term botch? Botch? Uh, I mean, yeah. You could just call it a happy little mistake, yeah. but I'm not Bob Ross and we're not painting, so yeah, he botched. <laughs> yeah, because, like, he's told me a few... Like, he was telling me about, like... I don't, know, I don't remember what match it was, but he was like, yeah, I went to do this thing and like fucked up and did this. And I think he went to like do like a suicide dive through the ropes or whatever. And his foot got caught. It it might have. I don't think it was that one that I'm thinking of. I did hear that, but I think he said that he went to like do it off of somebody. Like he went off, off somebody. Of, I remember the, the match. It was off of um somebody's back. Yeah. And the person in question is, is a very sweaty man. Yep. I know this personally. So he was trying to go off there and then hit the ropes, and he didn't get the full traction on the guy's back, and so he didn't get all the way to the ropes. Yeah, and it just, just came off a little wonky. That happens. Oh yeah, Things like absolutely. that happen. Yeah, I, mean, I had a dime for any time I went for a springboard, and I almost went whoop. Yeah, you catch yourself, but yeah. like you start like falling forward, and you're like in gargoyle position. You're like walk. Eh. <laughs> and, and, and that wasn't me throwing shade at Tyler or anybody. That was just a story that I remember. Tyler, he just said, I'm the best wrestler he's ever seen I 10 can... times better than you. That's what I heard. I heard it right here first. You heard it here live. <laughs> you can hear it here next, folks. Come back to the St. James Sanctuary for all the latest news and updates on how I am so much cooler than Tyler Reed. <laughs> I should, for the thumbnail, instead of for the disclaimer, silly... <laughs> I love that man so much. <laughs> <laughs> for the thumbnail for this... I should, uh, instead of the Silly Goofy podcast, I should just make it the same way, but have it say, like, the 
what is it, the St. James Sanctuary? St. James Sanctuary. If I can, I'll do that. That'll be funny. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. How long has Tyler been wrestling? Like He's a little over a year or two? Yeah, about a year. Okay, that's what I thought. <clears throat> have you got? Have you had a match with him? Oh, I no, have yeah. not. They have not given oh. me a match with him yet in any of the promotions I've been to. What would you? What kind of match would you want to have with him? Ooh, ladder. Really? Ladder match. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We could do some. We could do some things in a ladder match. <laughs> okay. It would definitely. Everybody that everybody there would leave talking about that ladder match specifically. Yeah. Okay. Well, you heard it here. You heard it here first. Somebody folks. fucking book it. I'm sorry. <laughs> book it. So I had a question, but I don't know if you'll be able to answer it Ooh. because it's not bad. Is it about like, my ex-girlfriend? I don't even know who that is. Uh, it's so fair. No. All right, then we should be good. I think I can answer it. It's like, I don't either. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> no, I wanted to I wanted to ask, like, but you said, and that's fine. You were like, I don't want to give away all the secrets and everything. But I was going to say, like, could you, like, walk me through, like, calling a match or, like, spots or whatever? Or would that be, give- <laughs> would that be giving too much away? Uh, yeah, sure. When we call it, it's just a whole lot of, I'm going to boom, I'm going to bop, a little bop, boom, and then I'm going to hit okay. you with the boom, boom, and you're going to, yeah? <laughs> and you're like, fuck yeah, brother, I got you. That I'm sounds come great! I'm going to hit with, the, you know, one of these, a little <laughs> bit of that, a little bit of, uh, uh, off the ropes, like we said, boom, boom, and then we're in. But, um, no, uh, a lot of the times, the older vets, they won't. They won't let you call it like that in the back. Okay. They'll take you and be like, Yeah, I was going to say, We're calling it out there. Because in the old school days, they called it out there. Mm-hmm. But, like, when, you, when you're doing suplex and arm drag and, and like, drop toe hold, like, if, we were, if we're calling some simple stuff like that, then, yeah, I'm more than comfortable with doing it all in the ring. But if I'm like, All right, I'm going to go up. You're going to duck, reverse, dodge, go under, and I'm going to go up top, do dodge, a flip. Duck, you're going to dodge dive, that. Dodge. The, the, the four Ds, yeah. <laughs> dodge is going to be mentioned twice. But no, if we're gonna do like doing a bunch of intricate shit, that is a little more complicated, and that is where it gets convoluted. If you're trying to do was, some some New Japan pro wrestling, <laughs> put on a banger and, yeah. and possibly break somebody's neck, which I'm all down for, <laughs> preferably my own. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, then then you, you you do get intricate you, intricate intricate in the back with it. And I was gonna say, yeah, is out, it but, like? Mainly something like you kind of like call it before. I was assuming call it beforehand and like kind of like discuss like, hey, we should do this because I feel like I've talked to Tyler about it and he said like, yeah, we talk kind of like in the back. talk about it and like find things that are gonna highlight each person's like. Absolutely, that's kinda... why I said ladder match for me and him. There's like a bunch of things like okay. I can get the brutal stuck to the ground kind of. Oh, that looked vicious kind of. See, I thought it was just you just... wanting to beat the hell out of him. <laughs> we won't talk about that. But when I get my hands on you, Tyler Reed. <laughs> It's going to be a day to remember. <laughs> Did I just reference another band? <laughs> yeah. Calling out a leader of a different band? We're going to get a cease and desist. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> if this wasn't going on like a mainly audio platform, I was going to like, when you were looking up like that, I was going to like, I was like, oh, that'd be funny to put like lightning and stuff in the background <laughs> and like make it all like dark and mysterious and have your <laughs> voice pitched down. It's like, I'm coming what for I'm you, motherfucker. This. Nobody cared who I was till I put on the mask. Ah, darkness is your ally. Damn, that's a pretty good Bane. Is it? You think you invented the Bane accent? <laughs> I was doing it for a long, long time. It was time. actually Tom Hardy. <laughs> it was. We're about the same height, so. Yeah, he's a massive man. Exactly. I'm trying to get the traps like him. I've been trying <laughs> to get the traps like Tom Hardy for forever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody that you like look up to like in like a physical sense that you're like, I want to look like this person? Mm, is it actually Tom Hardy world. or is that just a bit? No, Tom Hardy, we, like, we have similar like body structure. He's obviously a little bit more better developed than mine, but he's also <laughs> a little more, like I say, he's got a little more bulk on it. And that's mm-hmm. why he's more size stature. But for anybody's body that I would like, uh, yeah, Sam Sulik. You know? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I, it's, I might know who that is. I don't know. It's some. He's not even a bodybuilder. He's just some some like um, social media star who's okay. done a shit ton of tremblone. Is like humongous. He doesn't do any okay. bodybuilding competitions, but he's he's a, he's a lifter and like his physique is just it's insane. Nice. It's just insane. And like regardless of what people think, if you're on a bunch of steroids, you still have to go to the gym and do a bunch yeah. of work. Mm-hmm. Like if you just take steroids and eat McDonald's, you're gonna get really fucking fat. <laughs> Now, if I can find the steroids, I'm going to show Sam Sulik what it looks like to be a rip monster. I'm going to show everybody, but we're going to we're going to avoid that for right now. I'm glad I can't find them cuz Yeah, that yeah. I want your emotions wanna... all throughout the from what I hear it makes people crazy and I already cry when watching Titanic, so I cry over gonna... everything. <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm a cancer, so I I don't want I don't I'm... need anything that makes me any more 
I'm a Pisces, so I'm just very emotional in general. I was watching Gerald's game last night with, uh, was it last night? Today's the, it was on Valentine's Day. We were watching, because that's romantic. My girlfriend and I watched um, Gerald's game while eating pizza, because she hadn't seen it yet. Have you, do you know what that is? No. Ooh, okay. I like pizza, though. Yeah, pizza's great. <laughs> we got we got chefs, of course. Let's go. <laughs> but no, we were watching Gerald's game, and there was a part in there, where, like, it wasn't even like a sad, emo- like, it wasn't even like a sad part. It was just like a nice heartfelt uh, emotional moment. part and i was like damn. that's sweet yeah, yeah. i was start, like yeah, damn same, i might start tearing up because i'm time. an emotional bitch yeah that's all the time me. every time like marley and me <laughs> i, I still I haven't that seen that and i don't know if i, I can. watched it in school we watched it in school when i was younger i'm not gonna say like how old because it's still relatively embarrassing but i was in class and we were watching it and it was like the third day and we got towards the end of it and like i was just in the back and i was just like i was sobbing Mm-hmm. And I was just in the back, like, oh my god, <laughs> just trying not to be like everybody's like, all right, when is this over? Can I get out of class? And I right. was like, that's kind of how I was when, <laughs> when we when we watched um, Dying. what is it? Where the Red Fern Grows? Because we read that book. Do you know what that is? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, we read that book, and then we watched the movie, and I was like, this sucks, man. I don't want to watch this, and I'm just crying. Yeah, I've run into that problem, especially like what I said with the look, where I look like I've just gotten out of prison, or I look like I should possibly be a murderer of somebody. <laughs> I'm like the exact opposite of an actual person. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm like a giant sweetheart. That's like, I don't know if you'll know this person, but that's like Brian Fleming from Rigtime. He's the drummer slash vocalist. I've, I've found with the, with the, especially like in wrestling locker rooms and like things in general in life, the biggest, most terrifying, like evilest looking man that you're going to find is yeah. probably the nicest. Yeah. Perfect example, Brian Fleming. <laughs> Love that guy to death. He cut my hair on tour one time, and like he just like had a like a hair like razor or whatever, plugged it into just... his van. It wasn't enough power, yeah. so he was just ripping my hair out without realizing it. But we eventually <laughs> got it. But no, um, he's he the first time I ever saw him, big fucking bald dude with like a not like a big beard, but like enough to be like, oh shit, it's, he's kind of scary. Yeah, he's got like piercings he was and stuff. Close to the face. Got yeah, piercing. yeah, he's he just looks really like intimidating and like scary and mean he's the biggest yeah, fucking he's, teddy bear he's, nice. yeah, <laughs> he's the he's... nicest him and his wife are both like him and his wife are in the band rig time together so they just get to hang out and play music and stuff it's fucking awesome i love that and she's one of the nicest people they're both just so nice yeah that's what i've normally come to find out like, ryan rebecca like, please come on the podcast <laughs> especially with like metalheads anybody any mm-hmm. metalheads if like the lead vocalist looks the most terrifying you don't need to worry about him he's fine yeah. it's the it's the little skinny guy playing guitar with the glasses oh he's god about to yeah and go crazy the guy with the, like the, the <laughs> same kind of like regular like short co- yes like, like comb over <laughs> thing with like the like the high and tight fade we've seen glasses, the memes. we know what he looks like beard you're just <laughs> describing Tyler Mazza from Crafter. Hey, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> no, he he uh, he fit that. It was like. I bet he shreds too. He's so good. He's like stupidly good. <laughs> I called it. I bet he shreds stupidly too. good. Yeah, it's just like I met him years ago, and then like you know I knew him, and then I started seeing those memes, and I'm just like, this looks just like Tyler. I know a couple like that too, actually. Mm-hmm. Like especially with guitar players. I don't know what it is. All guitar players. All my good guitar players, I know. Not, I'm not gonna say that. Actually, I know a lot of guitar players. I would be uh, excluding a couple of them. I'm right here. <laughs> I know. Where are your glasses, John? <laughs> I was blessed with perfect vision. <laughs> no, I actually. Where are your glasses, John? I actually feel like I should probably go to an eye doctor at some point because I haven't in like 20 years. I just so. did. I I went to the dentist for the first time in like since I was like, I think 12. Yeah, I got to do that too. <laughs> I went to the dentist for the first time. I called them and I was like, "Hey, I need to go to the dentist." And like, "What were you? What are you being? What would you like to be seen for?" I was like, "Ah, uh, I don't know." Whatever my mom used to say on the phone, she got me <laughs> dentist appointments. Just I don't know like, how to do this, lady. Can you just give me the "I don't know what I'm doing" special, please? I've never yes, done this before. Yeah, like, <laughs> relatively young and relatively inexperienced. I've never yeah. went to the dentist on my own. It was a good experience. It wasn't bad. I was in there yeah. for like three seconds. He just looked at my teeth and then sent me on my way. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, so we're gonna got yeah. good teeth." He's like, you're good, you're good. We'll have you back in a week for the uh, thing. I was like, oh, okay. Was this was this the whole appointment? Like the whole appointment was waiting room, and like the I remember the little like sideways angled mirrors. Oh yeah. Just that he did that, and he was like, yep, all right. We got M four, couple of letters and number combos. That's what you need done. Yeah. Schedule that and walked out. Nice. 
but so it was quick, easy, and not yeah. as scary as everybody thinks the dentist is. Yeah, I had a root canal done, and I thought it was going to be horrible. Everybody was like, that's the worst thing that you can possibly get done at a dentist. And it sucked, but it wasn't that bad. I, I, they gave me they gave me a paper for a referral. Uh, get my wisdom teeth looked out, and I was like, "Oh, it's just they're just looking at it, right? They don't cause they're not causing me any problems." And on the sheet it says wisdom teeth removal, and I was like, mm. "It's just a consultation." And I was like, "Did don't you see something? Did you see something in there? <laughs> with the X rays that I didn't like? What are you hiding from me? Are you trying to tell me they're gonna have to come out?" <laughs> Yeah, I'm not looking I, forward I thought to it. I thought I was safe. I'm 25, so I'm like, I'm safe. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not coming for me. It just skipped yeah. right over me. They're just going to grow and <sighs> do weird. But I, like, I was talking to my pops, and he was like, no, no, no. Oh, no, they're coming out. <laughs> and they're like, no, it's 25, or they can come a little bit later. And later 20s, like 28 and 29, and then they can come too. And I was like, really? They can even come when you're 30, I found out. so. Yeah, I'm 31, and I'm not looking forward you're to when st- you're still yeah you're yeah. still in the range but i know i'm not looking forward to it i don't think anybody is really yeah like, i remember my friend my friend he was in the shower he was living he's living with me and he when he got his wisdom teeth coming in he was just in the shower like 24 7 with the hot water just on his face because mm-hmm. at the apartment i had we didn't have to pay for the water it was included so <laughs> he was just in there cranking the hot water and having it just hit on his face he was just mm. in there and just yelling for days and days oh. and i was like you all right, buddy? And he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> no, it's more, like, it's more oh. like, leave me alone, my yeah. teeth hurt. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, I hope I never have to go through that. Yeah. And I was like, wait, I'm definitely going to probably, unfortunately, I saw a, go through that. I saw a video of when Tyler got his wisdom teeth removed. He was all fucked up. <laughs> well, <laughs> like that's, he, that might he be was just like really loopy. Word. He was like high five. His dad was walking out with him. He's like high fiving everybody like as he was leaving. And then he got home and he just fell asleep on the bathroom floor. <laughs> it was that's fun. the only good part is that I, uh, from what I've seen in the videos, that I know I'm probably not gonna feel or remember how yeah. bad that it felt. Yeah. Until I wake up the next day and my face is like super swollen. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your entrance music for wrestling? For Ooh, it's um, it's a very I'm not super well known artist. His name is Call Me Charisma. Okay. And it's Monster Under My Bed. Okay. Actually, um, it kind of fell along. <clears throat> pardon me, it fell along with the whole theme because I took my brother's name mm-hmm. and my brother, right before he passed, he was watching that Netflix series, The Purge. Okay. He was watching it pretty excessively. He always encouraged me to like go out and like chase your dreams, do what you want to do. Like I thought you were gonna say, he always encouraged me to go out and, and purge like, and kill, kill people. people. That as well. <laughs> that as well. That like, dude, chase your dreams, commit murder, <laughs> commit murder all day long. Well, I mean, yeah, he he would he would wild out on somebody if the case <laughs> called for it. There's couple stories of him throwing bricks at folk and oh jeez yeah no he well, well if i tell you the story you'll understand that yeah, the guy yeah. needed a brick to the head all right yeah sometimes they just need it sometimes someone needs a brick to the head so <laughs> yeah, elijah would definitely pop off on somebody he was telling me to go out and chase your dreams and, and murder uh, indiscriminately no <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit everyone just so you know this is a bit <laughs> the uh, murder part we're anyways. working you we're working yeah. you this but is, no, he that's a wrestling me. term <laughs> we're working you it's a work <laughs> sorry go ahead it's a work but, um, yeah, he encouraged me to always go out and chase my dreams. He was watching the Netflix series of The Purge. Mm. And I was getting my first little trunks, and they had, there was some that had, like, the similar logo to The Purge smile mask thing okay. on it. And I got those ones. So I was like, all right, he wanted me to chase my dreams. He wanted me to get in here and, and start doing this and whatnot. So I got that. Now and I'm just looking at your trunks, and I feel like I'm looking at your dick. Yeah, because the logo's over here. I know. I was like, the, I was like, where's the, the logo? That's just his dick. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's n- not much to look at there either, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <Same>. I wish <laughs> I had more to give you. <laughs> Me too. I gave you all I had. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> but no, I was watching yeah, it. I was rewatching it with our mama T. Mm-hmm. And I was watching the second season that came out after he'd passed. And like at the end, it was, it was, it was about, um, that was about. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promote any Netflix shows, but it was about the guy Ben, and he was murdering off Purge season. And at the end of it, they put the mask that he wore to kill people in stores, and this song mm-hmm. started playing. I was like, it, it was kind of daunting and kind of creepy, mm-hmm. and I was like, I need something like that, but something that's still like enough upbeat because I don't want to. I'm not super like beep, 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 mm-hmm. kind of guy. More of like a, a, I like to be more of like a methodical, yeah. intense character. But like, I need something like that's still thought out and whatnot. Yeah, but still okay. portrays that you know he's snappy. 
Yeah, yeah. He's, he's focused. He's like there. I'm focused and thought and out, but I can I can one, snap if anything. Yeah, that one thing, appeared, yeah. and I was like, this is this is literally perfect. It works nice. very very well. And if I ever get signed anywhere, I'd like to try to call call McGrizz and see how much he wants for it. That'd be sick. That would be super sick. But I think as everybody wants to do that, everybody yeah. wants their song that they want. But, yeah, you know, I remember. Uh, can't all be signed to AEW and Tony Khan just paying out the ass yeah. for fucking famous songs. And yeah. Just, how did how did he how <laughs> the one for the elite? How do he do that? How do you get that song? That's got to be like which one was that again? Um, was it Carry On My Wayward Son? I believe. Oh God. Uh, yeah. It's, Fun fact: That's the first song I ever learned how to play on drums. I think that's it. Or it was, it's an old classic. Yeah. Like yeah. a top of the line classic, and it's obviously an, an arm and a leg for that song. Oh yeah. But he's like, yeah, I'm just going to pay it. All right, Tony. Yeah, well, I'm going to pay it. You're going to pay it, Tony. Pay it, dude. I just, hear my, <laughs> I just hear my cat running around out there. That's all right. I hear my cat running around every night at 2 a.m. She likes to remind me how fast she is. Dude, he did that. He does that to Evie all the time. And he did it to me this morning. <laughs> it's like 5 a.m. He gets right here and he just goes, Aah! like that. Yeah. And I'm like, hi, bear. Hi, buddy. How are you? I pet him once and then he leaves. He's like, yeah. okay, cool. I got what I wanted. Fuck off. Now I'm out. Yeah, my cat wakes me up for the same exact purpose. <laughs> it's like the the scene in, in um, Jurassic Park when they're in the car and the T Rex is like, like, don't move. Oh yeah. She won't see us. Every morning I'm like that. I'll just be laying there, and if it's too early, she'll come up. She'll try to get me up so she can get food. So I'll just lay there, and I'll just, when I open up, yeah, oh, there she's looking. I know. I'm just like I'm laying there, and I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> And then she'll eventually, hopefully, walk off, or she'll just put her paw on my face until yeah. I wake up. <laughs> I actually forgot. I actually meant to ask you before you got here if you were allergic to cats, because I have to think about that now because I'm not used to having a cat here. I love cats, and I forgot. So I'm glad that it worked out. <laughs> I love cats. I love all animals. Yeah. If I, I could have a dog with, here, I'd love. I lived that. with many and many a dogs. Mm-hmm. Dogs are great. They're super adorable little fluff balls. Very cute. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I don't recommend living with them as a, on a personal level. Like, you see how you have objects, you know, mm. objects that you like, that you would like to continue to keep. Yeah. And they like to chew on them, mm-hmm. depending on what kind of dog you have. See, I grew up in a house where there's 10 pit bulls. Oh, yeah. Like, love, overall, love and they all had separation anxiety. Oh. So there was only two downstairs in the basement with, with me and Elijah for the longest but they both had separate. They were pit bulls. They they had a lot of energy. We were mm-hmm. both working. We didn't have enough time to play with them and everything. So when yeah, we left, yeah. obviously, we got a cage and everything. But they learned how to break out of it, and they would just <laughs> gnaw on the bottom of doors and things yep. like that, and just tr- anything to get your attention and things like that. And that's that's. Yeah. I had shit on my pillow one time. <laughs> oh, that's happened to I me. I want to say one time, but I'm saying more like uh, two hundred times. But it was one time. <laughs> one time too many. only. No. <laughs> one time too many, and now I have cats. Yeah. Like I, if I if we could have a dog pukes. here too, yeah. <laughs> if we could have a dog here, I, we'd love to. But we we lucked out with being allowed to have the cat, so we're just like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna stay with this. But I know that like the there's a dog that um comes to my job sometimes. We're allowed to have like you got a dog. A yeah, we have we have we have an office dog. That's awesome. One of the supervisors. Yeah, he's he's so cute. His name is Klaus. He's the cutest Aww. little thing. He's a spoiled little dick, but he's the cutest thing. I love, I love That's him. That's normally the ones that are little dicks is the spoiled ones because but no, he's cute. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just he just always wants to be with his mom. It's really cute. Like she'll get up to like go to the like go to the kitchen or whatever. He just follows her and just yeah, it's really cute. Um, I like force him to like. I'm like, hey, come here, buddy, and I like You're hold him, cuddle I pick me him now. up. Yeah, yeah. I want some of the cuteness too. <laughs> yeah, but um, so like we can bring dogs in, like mainly if they're like emotional support animals. That's like the big re- like like for that. It's basically just like basically no questions asked it's like oh emotional support animal yeah go ahead bring it in yeah so people can bring in dogs and everything and whatnot um but another person who like my office mate she started bringing in her dog um still a puppy so it's... oh yeah well it hasn't it hasn't like i don't think it's like shit in the building yet <laughs> thankfully but yet. yeah yeah but like yet. she left to go do something so the dog was in there with me he was fine for the most part started whining a little bit so i was like trying to like you know give him attention and everything and, like, he's sitting on my lap, and I'm, like, reading a piece of paper that I have to sign for, like, a consent form or something like that. And he starts <laughs> fucking chewing on it, and I'm like, hey, knock it off. You can't do that, yeah. bud. I'm like, I need to hand this in to my boss. <laughs> yeah, when you're trying to, like, focus and, and, and be effective, uh, cute, fluffy things are not. Yeah, are not especially you if around. you have ADHD. I'm just like, oh, that's yeah. all I want is cute, fluffy. the cute thing. and fluffy, yeah. <laughs> I remember one show I was at. I was, it was an excite show up at the mall, right? And I'm, I'm walking in, and I was talking to somebody. 
And I was messing around. I was yelling. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, what if I were to come in there? And, and mid me yelling and being all big and bad, there was, like, a bunch of, like, little kittens. Like, baby kittens that was brought from, like, I think it was the little shelter right down here. And they brought them. They were doing, like, a booth. Okay. In the corner, like, something. You just go and talk to them and whatnot. But Axel Lennox was holding a cat. So I'm seeing this. That's a sight. This jacked <laughs> werewolf man. Yeah. Just like, what a little kitty. So I'm yelling at somebody. I'm like, I'm like oh, kitty. <laughs> and ran over to the fucking kitties. Like I bolted that. over, and I was like, "What's going on? Why are there like random kitties all yeah, in the why wrestling are there cats ring? Here? Boy, this is great." I'm not complaining, but why are there cats here? Yeah, I was so confused at a wrestling show, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool though. I, I love having I love having dogs at our at, at my job. I want to bring my cat. Like I'd love to bring Bear if I could, but I don't think that would really work out. I, I, if I had an office with a window, then, then yes, it'd be perfect. I'd be like, "Yes, yeah, sit in the window," because he loves I, it. But. What I want to do is, uh, without being like one of the weird cat owners, I want to like have a way to walk my cat without her like bolting off and disappearing into the night, yeah. and never returning. I know there's cat leashes, but I don't want to walk around the neighborhood with a cat leash or cat harness. I feel like I that's saw somebody. Strange. It it's, it's strange. It's strange, but it's not. It's strange because it's we're not used to it. So okay. when you so when you see it, it's like, oh, like, oh I'm, I'm not different. used to see. Yeah, exactly. It's but different. It's not strange. I don't, I don't know. see anything wrong with it. Yeah, there was a guy <laughs> when I was younger. There was a guy that used to walk around town, like with his cat on his shoulders, and you just or no, was it on his shoulders? Or I think he was just holding it. My cat He'd just does walk that. around with his with his cat in his arms. And stay there. So yeah, it was but so cute. She's still like a, relatively young, so I don't want her to like see something and fucking bolt off and yeah. then be like, "Where the hell did owner go? I don't know yeah. what's happening." Yeah, I want to take Bear out like on, a, on like at a leash form and everything, but I think I know a while ago he was like gung ho on like outside world. I want to go, and he would try to sneak out all the time. Yeah, so I was like, "Oh, I'll get you a harness," and I just never did. Oh, I see but her now every time I, I open the door, she's yeah focused on the outside. I feel world. like now Bear is. We have like a little bell on our front door, so when we open it, it you know jingles and he gets too scared and runs away so i don't really have to worry about him trying to leave now thank you yeah I'm yeah there you go bells on my there door maybe she'll be like what's that <laughs> i don't like the noise <laughs> but you know, i had the vacuum go for the first time the other day oh yeah my cat like leapt up on the shelf that i didn't think she could get to yet <laughs> of things that she's not supposed to be like trampling all over mm-hmm like I have little like antique ships that I got from my grandparents that are like in they're not in bottles, some of them are in little glasses things, but they're made and they're sitting up there and they're delicate. She yeah. jumped right up there for boom and I'm just like, "Oh no, <laughs> no." So I grabbed her and then she starts like twirling in my arms cuz she wants to get down. So then I just put her on the That's bed cute. and she stops and she's like, "I'm like just stay. <laughs> Relax there. for a second. It won't hurt you. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. Just stay yeah. there." <laughs> I had a dog that whenever we would vacuum, she would attack it. Yeah, <laughs> like, like yip at like little Parmenian this big. She would yip at it, and that's how she lost her teeth. <laughs> well, oh. that, well, that and she never chewed milk bones, so she just like had weak teeth in general. Like we just could not get her. Like she wouldn't let us brush her teeth, wouldn't eat milk bones, so her teeth were just not strong. And then she would attack the vacuum cleaner and knock her teeth out. <laughs> and so near that's like why I before went to the she. Dentist. That's why. I went yeah, to the yeah. Dentist here today, number one thing that kills a predatory animal in the wild is its teeth decay and it can't eat anything anymore. Yeah. Friend Brian told me that. I, don't I know. didn't know that, but I learned something today. I mean, I'm pretty. He knows a lot about animals, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that's yeah. relatively accurate. And I was thinking about that. And I'm like, yeah, what's gonna kill like a, a tiger? Yeah. If it's not old age, what else kills him out there? Either some a sort bigger of bigger tiger, or a no. bigger tiger. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm the tiger. I go out there and I wrestle <laughs> tigers. You ever heard of the band I Wrestled the Bear once? Yes, they're okay. very good. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought of that good. name. Yeah. I didn't really have a segue into music. Well, okay. I have a question. What kind of music do you listen to? I meant to ask that like 20 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> All Under the Sun. All under, okay. And I know everybody says that, but we can go from like... I listen to everything. Brantley Gilbert to Melanie Martinez to Chelsea oh, yeah. Grin to you know, Thy Art is Murder to back to like another pop star. Like it literally just jumps all over. It's like whatever I find is yeah good music. Well... <clears throat> What I what I learned about myself is if you can sing well, if you're a good vocalist, like if you if you present the song in a good way, like that's I mm-hmm. like a good vocalist. I don't care what kind of music you make. Yeah. Like if you make music that I don't listen to, I'm like, if if it's not my favorite thing and you're singing very very well, I'm gonna be you know more enough to listen to it yeah. because it's done very well. So mm-hmm. I just like I like people who sing very well and band performance is also important like if you play good music i'm there you know i don't care what kind of music it is yeah if it's good it's good yeah <laughs> it's good it's good you know is that what you look f- like if you see a band live like because i know for me yeah that's exactly <laughs> what i look for 
Yeah, that's why I go to every kind of show. Like you won't just catch me at like a like a hardcore show. I'll go out to every genre of yeah. music. Like um, I've been trying to go to more. I went like, to one diverse. recently and I ran into these guys. Pocket vinyl. It's just, it's just this. I've heard of them. Sweet lady painting and this dude going insane on the keyboard and doing very very well. Yeah. And it's not normally what I would listen to, but yeah. I was like, yo, this is this is amazing. I this love is it. Cool as I hell. I really yeah. like the presentation. I love it. I love everything yeah. about it. So, you know, like. Yeah, that's, that's what I go out to music shows for is to like find something new that I haven't heard before that's done well and I want yeah. to hear more of it. <laughs> something, to, something to like make them like make you remember. It. It's like something that stands out yeah. that makes you remember them. That's what I'm. That's what I. That's the goal. That's the goal for it's us like, all. In, yeah, in, in, to like in try to like do something to in make the building people... in the business <laughs> in the building in the, well, all of us in this building. In this here building. that is our goal. No, in the business, like because yeah. entertainment is entertainment. Like pretty much. You gotta drive the show. You gotta pack your gear. You gotta get there on time. You can set up the stage. You gotta figure out which how the set's gonna go, mm-hmm. and you gotta perform. Like music and wrestling is is very comparable. Yeah, it's very similar in like everything up until the performance is different. Mm-hmm. It's just you're 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 performing in music. I'm performing in wrestling. So yeah. the setup and the merchandise sales and everything around it is like very very similar. Yeah, because it's entertainment, so it's very yeah. similar to everything the musicians do. You have merch, right? You have shirts. Uh, yeah, I got nice. shirts. Uh, you can get them from me. Message me. I'm not a hard guy to get a hold of. Um, I mean, I, I got a hold of them. <laughs> get a hold of me. You I had nowhere to go. After my door. That. <laughs> I'll probably answer in my underwear. He'll probably what answer in this outfit. <laughs> in this, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes like, I what? Sleep these are my it. pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep in your wrestling gear? It's where I'm comfortable. It makes me feel important. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel good. But no, I got um, I got regular shirts. I got I don't know why I didn't bring one today with me to, to show. Mm-hmm. But I, I got regular shirts and I got sleeveless shirts at the moment, and I have hats as well. What kind of hats? hats? Like uh, dad, dad hats. All always Hell dad hats. Hell yeah! I like dad hats. If they have the little. I'm not a fan of the Velcro in the back, but I do have some of those. Mm-hmm. But I have the ones with the buckle and the strap that you can yeah, adjust and yeah. pull, and it has the flap hanging out in the back. Cause those, I have a collection of those kind of hats. Me too. I have like 57, I believe. Okay, I have like 10 maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a bunch of dad hats just because I don't know why it was my favorite kind of hat. And Yeah, it's the best kind. Big believer of you don't tuck that little strap thing into the side. Let it out. Just, but you let it just, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I have a couple of those, and um, I have a dad hat of my old band. If you want it, we of we broke, I we broke do. up like two years ago. But you can have it if you want, because I have of a course lot. I do. I have a lot I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> I will definitely take a hat. Yeah, especially if it's a dad hat. Those are my kind. <laughs> yeah, I think we. Uh, I think we're trying to get like more merch and stuff. Which I looked over at that, and I'm just like, that's right. That's where we put our merch is on <laughs> is on the mannequin. The oh, one of the last the people mannequin. I interviewed. One of the last people I interviewed. Um, her name is Paige. She's a Twitch streamer, and we were just kind of like chatting in the beginning. And she has this. She has like a candle of like Jesus with abs. Okay, that's. <laughs> and she was like, "I see you have a, a muscular man." She's like, well. "I see you have a muscular man in the background. Here's my muscular man, kind of thing." <clears throat> she was, do that was that funny. for a T-shirt. Just like Jesus with abs? No, just me in like a stained glass window. So. That'd be a sick design. That'd be cool. You know? Just like really like... St. James. Yeah, that's like a really a... good idea, honestly. <laughs> just get you like looking like... all like poetic or whatever. Yeah, just looking into the distance. Same gear and all. Just stained looking glass into the style. Like this, but also flexing at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but just in the stained glass. There in you go. stained glass perfect. fashion. I think that would be really cool. That'd be it. Now I'm thinking of like a printing aspect. That'd be a lot of colors. Yeah, that would that be would expensive. Be the, mm-hmm. Maybe a sticker. Sticker, <laughs> a sticker would be sticker a little would be cheaper. Much better. <laughs> Get one shirt for me to wear, like out to the ring. Yeah, of that because that would be pretty sick. But then people are gonna be like, "Oh, I want that one." That's when you tell them, like, "Hey, give me money," and All then right, I'll get it. This one's gonna be forty dollars, and they're <laughs> like, "That's still not even crazy." Yeah. No, I've had I've had a few talks with Tyler about like because he prints our merch and everything. I've had a few talks with him about like merch prices and whatnot because i, think I after was after like, selling all of my first batch of t-shirts i think i made a extra 20 dollars after selling everything for the prices that are reasonable mm-hmm. 20 dollars a t-shirt i made i think 20 dollars, so i got a couple more t-shirts from Tyler nice. the next time that i went around <laughs> nice and like when you become a wrestler everybody under the sun that's a graphic designer is gonna message you mm-hmm. i mean everybody like i know like people from like every state that's a graphic designer right now and they'll just message you like same question every time. Same stupid question. 
hey, do you wrestle? Like, no, I'm just in a profile picture in some wrestling gear in the middle of a wrestling ring, wrestling another guy for shits and giggles. No, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I sometimes I do this. So they're like, <laughs> oh, are you a wrestler? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm like, well, what are you, what are you, you a graphic designer? Normally they are, and normally mm-hmm. it's the same price everywhere around. Same with that, and same yeah. with designing designs or printing t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And Tyler just loves me, so he hooks yeah. me up. <laughs> Of yeah. course. Yeah, he printed I some think. of the. D- <laughs> I, I, I hope, hope he does. So. I hope he does. Oh God, I hope so too. You better be plugging me up. He's like, no, I charge Elijah a little extra. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I charge him. I just needed a little an extra twenty. I wanted pizza that night. <laughs> Sorry. No, he so. printed. Uh, he printed some of the disruptor shirts too. He he just randomly one day like he sent me a picture of Tony Hawk, like black and yes. white, but it was like Tony Hawk, and it says our name, but it's in like bubble font. That's fucking awesome. Which I can, I have one. I'll show you afterwards if you want to see it. But yeah. it's just like Tony Hawk in the bubble font, and we have a song called Hell Instilled. Um, so instead, he just he Sounds made it say, <laughs> "Thank you." He made it say "Shred Instilled" instead of "Hell Instilled" because skate Tony shred. Hawk. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was. I he showed me that, and I was like, "This is fantastic. I want this as a shirt." Like, not even joking. And I showed. I showed the rest of the band. And he, just, he whipped one out for you? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. He like, because I told him about that. I was like, oh, I would love to have that as a shirt. That's so awesome. And then I showed the rest of the band, and the vocalist of that band is actually also named Tyler. And he was like, I am absolutely in love with this shirt. I will buy one myself. <laughs> I got, um, you know Pulp Fiction? Yes. I got a one-time shirt made of uh, the girl in Pulp Fiction. After she snorts the line, she looks up like this. It's her mm-hmm. and the Mother Mary, and that's the face is hers. And I th- Okay. Like that logo has been around. Like mm-hmm. I've seen it. I think a rapper uses it for um like uh like a cover photo, but it's it literally fits very well. Yeah, yeah. Of her face like bleeding from the nose of cocaine and just the mother <laughs> Mary. And I got a shirt of that and then some gothic font saying Elijah St. James. That's sick. Over the top of it and I was like that's a pretty that's yeah. a pretty sick shirt. I love like just simple things like that that like don't really like connect to anything specifically, but, but it's just it like has this it looks has cool, it, and it has meaning to the person that made yeah, it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And then if you ask about it, you inquire, you'd be like, "Yo, what is the? Where'd you get this from?" It's like, "Well, crazy story. Let me tell you." I watched what, Pulp Fiction. I watched <laughs> Pulp Fiction one time, and then I stuck it on the Mother Mary's face. No, I mean, it was. <laughs> I think it's a really cool. crazy story. Like I saw this thing and I thought it looked cool. And then I put another thing on it that I thought looked cool. I put my thing Made over it look it. even cooler. <laughs> yeah, I put my thing on top of it, and now it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been, like, struggling <laughs> trying to, like, think of... I should do that. I should just get a random artist <laughs> and just put my name over the top of it. Right. <laughs> You're like, yeah, no, this isn't them. I just, you know... I actually started to design, like, just for fun, I started to design a t-shirt for this podcast. And All I just right. have the... I want uh, one. If I ever get a maid, I would love to, you. You'll get one. But we have a guy for that. Oh, I know. I got. Well, here's the thing: <laughs> the design isn't finished because it has the logo. The way that I did it, it's like has the logo up top. It's like the silly goofy podcast in like death metal font, yes. which I love. Yes. Um, and then like there's like a thin line that goes to the bottom, like from the sides down to the bottom, because I feel like a lot of shirts do that, and I just like that kind of like it reminds me of like black craft yes. kind of stuff. Square it off. <clears throat> yeah. And, and I didn't know, yeah, and I didn't know what to, like, I didn't have anything to put in the middle of the uh, thing for, like, a, the graphic, so I just, in, like, Times New Roman font, I just wrote sample text on the bottom, <laughs> and yes. I was like, I was like, I would print, I would get these made right now, but then. You don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's what's the form. symbolism behind sample text? <laughs> But no, well, I, you I, see, it has deep meaning to me. Yeah. When I was making it, I sampled this text. <laughs> and I thought it was funny. <laughs> but no, I, I, I told like um, my bassist, Reggie, who's also a graphic designer. He does a lot of stuff for the band. He came up with the logo. He's also my tattoo artist. Um, he, oh, what are his prices he, like? What are his prices like? Yeah. They're not bad. Well, All right, talk to me. Hook me up. Um, I don't remember his minimum. It's not too bad. It's like a regular minimum, I think. Maybe like a smidge more, but I don't remember. Mainly because off the record he usually like cuts me a deal not like a big one he's off like, the record i want him to cut me a deal too. yeah <laughs> 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 no um no i i think it's like a hundred an hour kind of thing or something like that i don't okay. remember exactly yeah it's not ter- not terrible it's not bad at all yeah. no he did my uh, all. let me show you this one he did that one on me you can't all see right. but it's uh 
Look at my leg. You can't see. It's <laughs> it's Tomie from uh, Junji Ito. It's a horror anime character. Okay. Yeah, Very it's cool. It's pretty sick work, and I'm yeah. always looking for new places to get more work. Yeah. But I told him about the uh, the T-shirt idea that I had, and I was like, oh, silly, goofy podcast, you know, whatever. And then he was like, can I get Goofy's face and like put black metal face paint on him and put that in there? I was like, yes, you absolutely can do that. Like, Why didn't I think of that? Of course. Brother. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's, me up he, with that. He's the one that came up with the idea for doing that for the Disruptor EP that we just put out. It's, um, I don't know if you've seen the artwork for it. No, but, but I would like to. It's, um, Disruptor just put out a new EP. Go check did. it out we now. Did. It's okay. Go no. check it out now or I'm going to come find you and I'm going to suplex you in your shower. Oh, that would, that would suck. Yeah, it's that would very suck. enclosed. It's yeah, short. you don't want that. Fold up. But actually, hold on. I'm... Hold on. How high is the ceiling? <laughs> I don't know. How deep is the tub? Me. Oh, <laughs> just got like lower parts. Of... Ah! After a suplex. <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> the LMR work. Get I was getting, I was getting way too into detail. I was like, how deep is the tub? How high is the ceiling? <laughs> um, Get the, the artwork EP's for the most that is part. uh, yeah, that's the most important part. The Check EP it out. artwork is. It's a genuine picture that Aaron, our drummer Aaron, he got of his daughter. It was her flipping him off. Really funny, her. really cute. Reggie took that and like made her have like black metal face paint and like stuff on her mouth. Yes. It was so cool. And then he yes. worked with um he worked with somebody else like Cryptic Clay, I think. He's done he does like a lot of like just random like freelance graphic design stuff. And he like made it look more like he worked on it too. That's what Very I need cool. to do. I need to get with metal metal guys to talk about for like finishing move names. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Because like all the band names I hear are always really cool, and they're always like flow very nicely off the tongue. The only one I have is Devil's Agenda. I have to. I have to. That is a good name. It is. It was cool. You like it? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it, but I, I got it from this guy that I used to work with when I was uh, working at uh, this chicken cutting place, and I would just cut chicken. And there was this guy who was there for years and he talked like a bunch of shit. He would just try to get under your skin and make you upset. Then he went off to Texas to become the greatest country singer that you've ever heard of. Came back to then work for the same chicken plant when he <laughs> failed because he didn't become the greatest. Um, and, Aww. Yeah, no, it didn't work out for him. And then he apparently found Jesus, but of not course. in the kind of way that, you know, you just uh, I'm just happy to be alive and I love the Lord. No, it was like, I'm going to jump down your throat Ooh. and every second that I'm wait here is going to be about Jesus. And he was That's talking. That's the way the Lord wants it. And he was somebody was talking about something in in the news, and he was like, "Oh, this and that, and this is just the damn devil's agenda." And I was like, "Yell that again." And he's like, "Devil's agenda? It is out here. I'm the media's the devil's agenda." I was like, "That's gonna be my new finishing move." That's sick. <laughs> my my he's buddy. Like, no, you can't. You can't do that. You're giving the devil credit. And I was like, "No, I'm not. I'm a saint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you credit. You fucking idiot." No. <laughs> No, my buddy Travis and I, every now and then, like, we'll get together and, like, we've done this before where, whoa, we've done this before where um we'll just, like, get together and, like, put on different music as, like, our entrance songs and, like, just, like, pretend to come out. And um we were trying to think of, like, finisher names or whatever. And he always just, like, uses, like, lyrics or names of songs or bands that I've been a part of. He did one. He was, like, my finisher was, like, the head splitter or whatever because my, <laughs> my old band was head splitter. Yes. And uh, he's just done that a lot, which like honestly, head splitter isn't a bad finisher name. Like if it's something like no, land on sounds... someone's land on someone's head or just do something to someone's head, the head splitter is a. I feel like that's a that's a hard name, honestly. Everything has multiple names, especially if you go for like from New Japan to like like what the name of like the move is. I think I was like talking to my friend earlier, and I was like Emerald Flosion. He's like, what the fuck is the Emerald Flosion? I was like, it's pretty much just like a scoop slam into a brain buster. And he's like, why don't you just say that? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It's called the Emerald Flosion. It sounds cooler. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue better. Emerald Flosion. <laughs> yeah. Or like, uh, I like to use, I think it's, I think it's the made in Japan. I don't know if that's what it is, but it's really just a um, pump handle. Uh, what is it? Ha pump handle, half Nelson sit out driver. Okay. But that's like a lot to say yeah. kind of deal. So they just they gave it a name and then like someone else gave it another name when they use it for their move and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I need better names. I need yeah. I need metalheads to come help me. Create. I'll try to I'll try to think of something if you want. If think, there's, think if there's anything something. you hear from Disrupt or anything, feel free to take All right, it. All right, <laughs> definitely. If you guys make hardcore music, I might be in and look for some custom entrance music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would I would love to do that, honestly. Actually, if you want, I'll show you when this is done. I'll show you the the two new songs that I was gonna hit up Tyler, out. but like it's not enough uh, for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not enough. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not enough. I don't think it would fit for me. I don't think it would fit. Mm-hmm. I, I did enjoy when I was able to walk out with, when me and Trevor Terry had a match, I was able to walk out. I'm not okay. Yeah, that's right. I remember that's that. that's his music. And I, was, I would get so hyped every time I heard yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I was so behind that. I was like, yeah. I, I wasn't even a plan to walk out with him. Like, he just walked out, and I didn't tell him this before. He just walked out, his music hit, and I was like, you know what? I'm gone. <laughs> and the promoter's just watching me go by. Jenny's like, whoa, whoa. All right. <laughs> and it's less music I have to play. <laughs> right, yeah. He's the one that was going to, I think he was going to go to, like, Cody Rhodes School or he something. He did like go that? to Cody Rhodes okay, School. Yeah. Trevor was Terry I... trained with Cody Rhodes. That's QT sick. Marshall. Yeah. And he, but he was there with Cody Rhodes and, and all their, their trainers. They got some great trainers up there. And nice. it's from what he was able to tell me, because he can't tell you everything they're doing up there. Yeah, yeah. You got to pay for it, and mm-hmm. I haven't paid for it. Yeah. And what he told me is some really good training, and he, nice. he was great before he left, and he, he's even better now that he came yeah. back. But that's just him growing on his own as, as a wrestler and as a person. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of Trevor Terry. Yeah. I know I'm not. I'm, 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 I hate everybody. I'm a heel. Nobody is good except for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How long? We've been going for a half, an hour and a half. That's probably a good spot to call it, saying that we hate everyone and we're better, we're better than everyone. <laughs> I hate all of you. Um, this is the best podcast. <laughs> Fuck ever. you! Thanks um, for listening. <laughs> all the rest of your podcasts are are terrible. This is the only one that's good. Watch this. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love this man. I love his podcast. I want a T-shirt actually now. It, like of a podcast one? Yeah. If, if I get, mean, if I make one, if, if you I get ever the make custom any, def- podcast T-shirts made, I definitely want one of those. You got you got, you'll get one. You got it. Facts. Um. Okay. Wait. Is, so your name isn't Elijah. I've been wrong this whole time. My my real name. What what do you want me to? I don't call need you to now? know my shoot name. You look it up on Wikipedia when I'm right, famous well, enough. Elijah St. James. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being on here. I, I genuinely do appreciate Absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. It was it was a pleasure. Yeah, I love very, coming out and it was very fun. I love talking to people. I'm surprised, kind of surprised that he, he did the whole thing in his. I didn't put my pants house. on not once. Yeah, not I thought once. I thought it was gonna be like for the intro bit and then. My pants were over there. Go. It would have been a lot for me to just start getting ch- dressed. Like, yeah, in the yeah, conversation. Whatever. We're not getting monetized on YouTube. It's fine. Who cares? And besides, try not to know. get age restricted. Challenge. No. <laughs> but no, thank you so much for being on here. Um, if there's anything you want to say or plug, go ahead. Um, I want to plug his band, Disruptor. Aw. Obviously, I want to plug Second Suitor. I love them. Um, I actually am going to plug another band because there is a music video that's coming out with me in it oh. of Promises Unsaid. Oh. March 15th, I believe. There's a music video with me in it, Revenge of the Smoothie King. I don't know if I was supposed to tell you the name yet. But um, it's dropping, and it's, it's going to be some heat, all right? Did you wrestle in it? or? Uh, yeah, it was an actual match with um, me and Malcolm Calloway. Oh, okay. And that's they, they t- took clips from that. It tells gotcha, a little bit of okay. a story. Gotcha, okay. So nice. it's going to be a good one. And then uh, obviously I'm going to plug Elijah St. James, the runaway saint, everybody's favorite. Look be blessed it. like you sneeze, ladies and gentlemen. Come back, check out the podcast. Come back and check out me. Um, yeah. So I need someone like this to do my outros for me because I have no fucking <laughs> idea what I'm saying. I'm always like, thanks for watching thanks, and or listening. Click, click. Um, Like and subscribe, please. Like. Uh <laughs> My name's John. You know, Drop just, some E's no in the chat for the top of the line athlete, Elijah St. James. Come back next week for more great material and more top of the line production from the Silly Goofy Podcast and all your friends here in John's house. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Bye. See you later. Say goodbye. Oh, God. Look at that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shit. <laughs>